Hey, what is going on guys? Energy here today and today we're going to be showing you how to install 5M in 2023. Before we start today's video, if you wouldn't mind dropping a like and subscribe, comment if you're new, it'd be greatly appreciated. And if you have any questions, just comment them down below or add me on Discord. My Discord username will be on the screen now and let's get into today's video. So first thing first, uh, you're going to want to go do your Steam uh, and you're going to want to make sure you have Grand Theft Auto 5 installed or whatever way that you might have uh, purchased the game. Um, so you'll, you'll go, you'll go to your games, view my game library, you'll be able to install your GTA here. And one thing that's very important is you're gonna to wanna to remember where you install it at. So when you start the install, it'll tell you to pick where it's at or where you want it to install to. Make sure you remember where that file path is and we'll use that later on in the video. I'll be right back when this is done installing. All right guys, and once you have the game installed, what you're gonna do is you're gonna to go to games, view game library, go to your Grand Theft Auto 5, go to this little settings icon, properties, local files, and press browse and all you're going to do is you're going to go ahead and take this uh little uh directory right here and you're just going to go ahead and copy that and we're going to use that in here in just a minute in the description below you're going to go to 5m.net that's right in the description or you can just type it in it's just 5m.net and you're going to click download client you're going to scroll through this press i agree and you should get this little exe launcher right here so once this is downloaded you're just going to click it once and it should open just right away and i say stay installing and this will take just a minute to install so here we are, it's finishing installing now. And what you're gonna notice right away is it's gonna say go to your game uh, directory and select gta5.exe. So what we're gonna do is we just copy the directory. So we're just gonna tap right here and press control V. Or if you can't, uh, like if for whatever reason it didn't copy, um, or for whatever reason you can't find out where it is, just look for your Steam library, Steam apps, common, and then your game should be there. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna select GTA5, this application right here, and press open. And what it's going to do is this is just going to verify and make sure this is the latest version of the game and everything is up to date and compatible with 5M. So what you're going to do is this is going to pop up. Uh, sometimes it might not, but it should generally. What this is doing is it's creating a uh, basically a 5M copy of the game, if that makes any sense. Not like a whole 100 gigabyte, but it's taking some of the storage and whatnot. What you're going to do is you're going to press yes. And this does take about a minute to do. So when this is done, it's finishing up right here. It's patching it up and it's just finishing the install. And I do believe it just opens right on its own. Yep, it just says starting 5M. It's gonna run your little Rockstar account and whatnot. And it's gonna log you right on in. So when you're logged in, uh, one thing I do highly recommend is making sure you have a, a cfx.re account. And I just press on login through browser, authorize, open in 5M. And there we go, I'm logged in. Uh, and if you want to turn this music off, you're just going to go to the settings here and then uh, uncheck this little box and that'll just turn off the background music. But yeah, guys, from this point forward, you can basically join any game that you want and uh, any server. You can just type in, like, for example, one server I play is called Nexus. Uh, and you can just click here and you can join. Sometimes the first time you join a server, it might take a few minutes to connect because it takes a while to download all the information for the server. But yeah, guys. And that's it, guys. If you enjoyed the video, please like and subscribe. Comment if you're new. And if you want to see more videos like this, comment down below. I also do sorts of different like server development tutorials and things like that. And uh, yeah, guys, until next time.